Hey yo, it's Alex, and I thought that I would just make a video, because one, I'm bored, two, I'm bored and I like making videos, um, and yeah, it's going on YouTube because I don't have enough storage in my phone, so YouTube is just kind of like, don't need to have it there, or don't need to have it on my phone, it can be on YouTube. So, yeah, today is day one, well, actually, no, we had school today, so technically, it's not day one of no school, but, um, it is Friday the 13th, and it's in March, it's 2020, and we were told that our school, Monticello High School, is not gonna have school for two weeks due to this coronavirus outbreak, and honestly, I don't know whether it's terrifying or Okay, so the thing is, is I have a book, right? It's called Plagueland. This is literally like the book, but like less fiction and more reality. Let me just read it back to you. It's in the air and you only have an hour to live. Okay, so obviously this is a bit more dramatic because it's a book. The reports of an outbreak in Africa start slowly at first. and mention at the end of the evening news a headline at the bottom of a news website. They're easy to ignore and most people do just that. Except for Leon. His mom shakes off his concerns, sure that they should not be worried about some illness on a distant continent. Honestly, same. Until one week later, the virus spreads worldwide and chaos ensues. Pretty much happened with us, but like, hopefully not so much chaos. The infected die within hours, dotting the countryside with the haunting skeletons of liquefied victims. Okay, obviously not as dramatic, but... That this situation just reminds me of that book. And I've always, like, read books and been like, oh my gosh, what if that happened in real life? Yeah, not not with that one. I mean, I thought about it, but, like, didn't want it to happen. Well, here we are. Um, I could write about it. Which I've been thinking of doing. Because it's kind of like a historical moment. But I don't feel like doing that right now. So we're just going to make this video. Because why not show it to the future generations? <laughs> Or show it to myself when I'm bored. Probably more likely. Mm. Yeah, I've never posted a video on my YouTube channel without me singing in it. But I'm not going to sing in this video because we don't need that. So. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. I've thought about like reading and been like in posts like me reading. But. And then I've always felt like I need to make another YouTube channel for that. Like separate YouTube channels. Like one for singing, one for reading, one for talking. But honestly, it's a little extra. A lot extra. I would be so bold as to use that word. Um, yeah. So we're just going to put it all in this place. I'm not going to read, don't worry. I also don't know if that's legal to like, I don't know if it's illegal to like read someone else's book on the internet i think it probably is because you can't that's what audiobooks exist for people get paid to do that so we don't need me stealing business not like that would happen anyhow so yeah this is where we are today today was an interesting day to say the least um yeah this is interesting and I really don't have much else to say on the matter except that I'm trying to win a reading competition. So I'm gonna have two weeks to read. Oh, also the fact that my mom is like, you can't leave the house, child. I'm like, but I, I thrive on social things. And she's like, not anymore. And I'm like, nope, still do. So I'm staying at home for two weeks and get to dwell with my own thoughts. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? No. Um, it'll be interesting. Yep, I cannot even visit my friends who live in my neighborhood. Who are probably hanging out. They went to the YMCA, which I'm gonna admit, not the smartest idea, but they're swimmers, so they, one of them had to practice, and so why not? Yeah. Oh my gosh, though, it's terrifying. Like, not terrifying. I don't know why I said that. No fear, guys. Just calm down. Like, what was, what's my motto? Um, 
gosh, it's bad when you don't know your motto. No, no, no. But like one of the things I say um, is don't like fear things that you cannot control. Like, yes, okay, you can, you're allowed to be afraid, right? But don't panic over things that are not in your control. Do not like blow it out of proportion now. Also saying, don't do the opposite and totally ignore everything. And if you're having a cough, go out in public anyway. That's just, no offense, idiotic, okay? We don't need to be infecting people just for no reason. We just need to stay calm, do as we are told, follow the rules, be safe about it, be intelligent about it. And yeah, but then again, I'm not a doctor, obviously. I am 15 and... That's not possible, my friend. So, you could totally ignore me. And honestly, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. Yeah, six minutes. Oh my gosh, I could talk for years. Um, yeah, have a nice day, folks. And this is a day one. Not really day one, like I've said before. But, yeah, update. The Alex update. That looked like I was smoking. Like, it was supposed to be a peace sign peace sign, not the legal things happening here. Okay, farewell.